Two. The long-awaited, long overdue. Sorry. Wear test video. We got some freaking swag from fellow YouTube personalities, AKA the Braille dudes. Aaron sent these for us to try. Thank you for your purchase of the official first run of eights. the Braille first try skate shoe. Yeah. Oh, nice little. So apparently there was only 640 made total. Wow, that seems like a lot, but probably isn't. I mean, as far as skate shoes go, like I would think like minimums per style is probably in a couple of hundreds. I was gonna say thousands, but clearly not. These are the two nines. I think they're the same shoe. They just they have different soles. Yeah, I think that's it. This is just the plain black. It's actually gray. So Foster, I don't know if you would run. Oh, wow, that is sick. I didn't realize that. So before we skate them, let's do like a quick little... They definitely look like skate shoes, you know? Like this kind of reminds me of like, this is very specific. So skate nerds stand up. This reminds me of the globe. Louis Barletta. But what we're getting at is they look like skate shoes, and that's a good thing. It looks like shoes that I used to skate a lot, and something that I'm kind yeah. of used to. They're kind of old school. I think John will be the first to say that he prefers shoes that are very simple, very small logos, nothing too crazy. The insole, more like a mold. You can tell it's kind of like a like a foam mold type thing. It's got this thing that I'm sure is going to help like the balls of your feet with impact. Oh yeah. God, I'm really excited to see how these things work out. I like the way it looks on my foot already. Yeah, they the look. The shape of it and everything. It's a decent silhouette for sure. The bottom, so the outsole, braille right here. It kind of like etched in. And then the B logo there. And that's really, and right here, is the only place where it says anything about braille. The grooves are not very deep. Maybe they'll kind of wear out quickly. I mean, I hate to, I hate to say it like that, but you know, it's their first shoe. We have to remember. Yeah, like yeah, they're yeah. gonna take uh, advice. They're gonna take feedback, and they're gonna keep getting better and better. Yeah, they have that timeless like Fallen or America or Etnies look to them. Yeah, kind of like the Forte or yeah. something. So if you had to say, they kind of just look like core skate shoes. The grip is grippy as heck. Yeah, that's what I thought. When I was even just like rubbing my hands right here, I was like, dude, this is gonna grab my board like yeah. crazy good. Yeah. So we'll see. The Four sides, pages. the sides are kind of sharp. A lot of shoes do this. Vans it does this too, where the sides are really like, like abrupt. Like, and oh, so you okay, have to like yeah. almost like after a day or two, it rounds off and mm -hmm. then it feels a lot better. So this right off the bat, like this literally kind of hurts. <laughs> like, like this oh, is like yeah, actually yeah. like a saw. It's so <laughs> like it's like straight up flat. Like this. it really, yeah, it really is. So like, <laughs> like, like your foot. Check it out, Foster. Kind of like. Since it's so flat, it kind of like, not that it, not that we're gonna go and like roll our ankle right off the bat, knock on wood, but it kind of has that like tilt factor. Yeah. So yeah. I might go I've ahead. I've never and, even noticed that before on a shoe. I've never noticed that being a thing. I might go ahead and sand mine down because I'm paranoid all of a sudden. I got my size and it fits. So true to size. Whoa. They feel crazy to walk. Yeah, that's what I was just thinking. <laughs> I feel like it's going it's up. With, does it feel like it's going up with your foot? Dude, that feels weird. It feels insane. You know, you see me, boss. They passed the new shoe kickboard test. Mine passed. I'm kind of tall. Dude, I feel high up. <laughs> I'm high up, man. Oh! How did that feel? Actually, you know, the Primo, not too bad. It ends perfect Primo. What's up? Straight Did you up, just obliterate that box? Straight up destroyed <laughs> this box, dude.
But for Zach, it doesn't mean one, 100 more. I think I'm just gonna try and do as many flip tricks as I can. Maybe try to put a hole in these purposefully. Look, he threw it. Oh, it landed like that? Yeah. Satanic energy going on in here. I hit the box. Braille skate shoes, it's out there. <laughs> the B actually stands for Baja. Ooh! After doing literally uh, over 100 kickflips, I think, easily, uh, I did kind of wear the toe off a little bit. And the edges that I was talking about that were real sharp are kind of worn down now. I did kind of shave it on purpose on yeah, my board yeah. now. So Yeah, uh, mine actually without doing that, they kind of went down a lot actually. Yeah. Like surprisingly in that a little bit of time. Yeah. Their stitching held up after a thousand kickflips. Laces doing alright. Um, the the texture on the toe is all still there. Which I think maybe is my biggest takeaway is this shoe is insanely grippy. Yeah, it definitely is. I mean, when I was trying the cable back tails, I was, my foot was like that, just so I could get a quick enough flick and my board would actually like flip over and be on the ledge waiting for me there. But I don't know, I liked it. I, it was definitely weird the way the shoe felt just walking around at first compared to what I had on. But mm -hmm. yeah, I think after I started skating it a little bit and jumping around, it started to feel like mm -hmm. really, really, Tight to my foot, I guess. They're snug, they're true to size. Um, they do feel a little tall when you first start skating them. Yeah. But then I guess either you get used to it or it kind of pads out. I don't mm -hmm. know which one. I think that's why I was kind of messing up on the first couple of kickflips I was trying. Yeah. Was because I felt a little bit higher up on my board. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, um, by the end, I felt like it was a great shoe. I mean, yeah. I'm stoked that uh, someone just like us, skateboarder, we started making YouTube videos, has gotten to such a level of success, I guess you can say, that they're literally making their own skate shoes to skate in. Yeah, that's, that's pretty that is sick. really sick. You know, and they're not bad. 
and by any means, you know. Um, certain people are gonna have their preferences, you know. Like, I like this brand because of this, I like this brand because of this, and I think some people are gonna like this brand for a lot of those same reasons. I wanna do a shout out to Braille. If you guys don't know, it's this little group out in California that um, makes skate videos, and you should, you should follow them. They really need the support. Yeah. <laughs> They're trying to get some more subscribers desperately. Um, and I think our channel is big enough to sh <laughs> shine a little light. <laughs> shine a little light on this channel called Braille. Maybe they can give us a shout out. That would be awesome. That would be really sick. What do you say, Zach? Should we tell them? I mean, we upload videos <laughs> Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. If you ordered the shoes, leave a comment below. Yeah. If you, ah, that's a good one. Yeah, if you own the shoes, let us know how they skated for you. Um, if you if you like our re review, let us know, man. We kindly appreciate it. Yeah, we we do. I got a piece of hair in my eye. If you didn't like the video, just leave a thumbs up. Yeah, <laughs> like sarcastically. Leave a thumbs yeah. up sarcastically. I'm gonna show these guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna hang out on the porch for a little bit.